Extensions allow the same process to be run in different environments with different environment-specific configurations. For example, when a process runs in the test environment, it will connect to the sandbox instance. And when it runs in the production environment, it will connect to the production instance. Extensions allow us to defer some types of component configuration from build time to deploy time. You can think of it as a traditional config or .ini file used to reference specific runtime values. Extensions also allow you to change things like connection credentials without having to modify components and redeploy a process. The following types of components can be extended. Connections, trading partners, process properties, cross-reference tables, certificates, and maps. Extensions provide the ability to develop and maintain a single process while being able to specify different settings for each location when deploying that process to multiple environments. This is fundamental to building integration packs because it allows us to apply a control layer over a process or a group of processes. Extensions are configurable in the Manage Atom Management pane. Let's take a few moments to understand exactly how extensions work. Extensions are defined per process. This can be done from the Build tab via the Extensions link located at the top left of the process canvas or in Atom Management under the Environment Properties view. If a common component, for example a connection, is referenced by multiple processes, then each process must extend that component. In the case of a parent-child process, extensions should be defined on the process being deployed. So if only the parent process is deployed, then all of the extensions, including components in the child process, should be defined in the parent process. But if both parent and child will be deployed, then the extensions should be defined in both parent and child processes. The process must be deployed prior to the extension values being overridden in Atom Management. Once a given extension is overridden, other processes with the same extension in the same environment will automatically use the value. And finally, extensions can be set in test mode per process per Atom. Extensions are set up by enabling the extensions and defining the extensible components within a process. Next, you need to deploy the process to an environment. And finally, configure the environment extensions. When configuring process extensions, we have a few best practices to consider. First, set fake values in the underlying components to protect against inadvertently connecting to the wrong endpoint if an extension is accidentally not declared on a given process or overridden in atom management. You can intentionally configure a placeholder value, such as set by extension, for the actual connection or other to-be-extended component. Test connectivity to each application in test mode before process deployment. And finally, deploy the process to each atom and environment with connectors and extensions enabled before developing an end-to-end -end solution. The most common use case involves connection information and multiple environments. For example, 
assume you have a process that connects to a database server. The database server's production and development instances probably have different host names, usernames, passwords, and maybe even ports. Within the process, you can define any setting, which may vary per environment as an extension, and provide the production credentials when deploying to the production environment and the development credentials when deploying to the development environment. 